Hey, it's Peach Dude Man. Yeah. This is a, is a <laughs> this is a new recording session for us, so mm -hmm. I have to. I'm kind of like I gotta re remember like where we are and stuff that it was we're doing. Only like a day after. Well, yeah, I've actually, um, gosh, ever since we've actually been doing a lot of like days in a row. I'm finally back into it. Like when we first started it, just my problem was that like all the grinding I had to do is, is just kind of like put off, you know, really, really making progress in the game like we are now. Mm -hmm. Um, starting to run out of doors to open, I think. Uh, and then we, we really will be, like, teleporting around and stuff. I wonder if Silt is finished. No, I'm here to save it. Don't worry, I'll save you. For I am pizza, the ultimate food. Uh, not really. I think so. Yeah, pizza's okay. Pizza's the best. You can put anything on it, so it's the best by default. You could say that about soup, too. Look, I'm in bed. Oh, I see you in bed. You look bed. tired. You should take a quick nap while I watch over you. And touch you inappropriately. Don't give up. I'm going to suffocate myself on the pillow. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh. Literally? I don't think you can, like... Um, that I'm. Is this where we fight? Is this where we fight the our rival? Because if it is, he's gonna be a couple levels above us, and that's not terrible. But I feel like that we're gonna fight our rival soon. Your Pokemon seem to adore you, kid. Your boss told me the same thing. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Team Rocket grunt. I feel like we're close to the place where we're gonna fight our rival, and that makes me worried. <sighs> Flamethrower! Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that, that killed that. What else you got? A Grimer? Blah, 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 blah. John Tron's really good at killing. Look at him kill all the stuff. Go, John Tron! <laughs> that wasn't good. Um. Yeah. Ick. Yay! Gah! If I had started as a trainer at your age, maybe that's why, like, you're so tough. Is maybe so you're starting younger than, like, most people do. I guess. Your mom's willing to abandon you at ten. That's what's going on. She doesn't want to raise a kid anymore. It's too hard. Hmm. Team Rocket said if I helped them, they'd let me study Pokemon. <sighs> okay. Uh, hello, rival. I don't feel like fighting you yet. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Away I go. I knew that this was close to like where I was supposed to uh, fight him. So ninth floor. I guess the question comes down to: Do I want to grind my Pokemon till forty uh, just to be really sure I'm ready for him? I don't know if a couple levels is going to make that big of a difference. Uh, but I mean, just in terms of like, I'd have to grind all that. I don't know. Well, I'm scared. Well, I mean, there is a criminal organization taking over your building. That's a pretty good reason to be scared, don't you think? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the doors are electronically locked. It takes a card key to open them. Have I explored just about everywhere at this point? There's the 11th floor, but I really doubt there's a card key place up here. Okay. <sighs> Do I grind for a couple levels? Or do I just... Do I just... Um, what's the right phrase I'm looking for? Or do I just fight the rival? I, was, I had some cool way I was going to word it, but I don't remember what it was. It was along the lines of man-up, but not quite so gender-specific. Bulk up. 
buckle down. Buckle down. Everyone just buckle down and get to it. What do you it's think? Very car specific. What do you think, Rosie? Should I should I grind and, and be really safe against the rival, or should I just go for it? Go for it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what kept you, pizza? <laughs> I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. You see, I know that you're trying to fight off terrorist organizations, so I decided I'm not going to help with that shit at all. Instead, I'm going to wait here so I can beat up the guy who's saving a bunch of people. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Because <laughs> I know his starter, his Charizard, is going to be level 40. and We don't have anyone that high leveled. <sighs> Okay, it's a Pidgeot. Go and see us! Ha ha! My flying type is slightly higher leveled. Wing attack! Bam! Ugh, that didn't do as much damage as I was hoping. <laughs> Alright, let's slow him down a little bit with Confuse Ray. Hopefully that'll help us out a bit. <sighs> da -da -da. Hit yourself in the face! Stupid bird, you are so stupid, you hit yourself! In the face! <laughs> yes! Oh! Yay, it confused itself. Hit itself twice, that was when it became worth it. I basically. Is I took, that a possibility? What, that he hit himself twice? In a row? Yeah! Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, it's totally random. <sighs> Wing attack super effective. The problem is if he uses, uh, I don't think one psychic attack from an execute is gonna hurt that bad. Hmm. I think I'll be fine. Plus he used sun spore. All right. Okey then. Same same thing. I think I'm gonna be fine from one psychic attack. Maybe I shouldn't risk it, but mm. there we go. Bam. Okay, NCS is done this battle. He, he has killed two guys on his own. He has he has done as much as I need him to do. He's done enough. Oh, shit! I didn't think he'd have an Alkazam yet. I thought he'd still have, like, a Kadabra. Oh, my no. God. How am I going to deal with this thing? You don't. Okay, go... Who's got more special defense between Jontron and... Uh, okay, 84, 63. Okay, go Jontron. Actually, I'm going to go with Seamus anyway, mm -hmm. because um, his physical moves are going to do more damage to an Alakazam. Future Sight. Uh, I'll, have to be, I'll have to be careful. Oh, and Calm Mind? Oh, boy. This is going to get really dicey. Can you crit him, please? No, but one more will kill him. Okay, he's an idiot. He buffed himself and delivered, like, a finishing blow... But he didn't actually attack. So that wound up being not scary. Garrett. Oh, well, we got to switch out of this. And I can't switch into Nine Tails. I don't know who's going to take care of Gyarados. I'm going to take the future side attack. That'll hurt, but it won't kill me. Um. Okay, who are we going to switch to? Does Gyarados even have a water move? Well, we can't send out Eagle Raptor really because he's flying type. So I guess really our only choice is Chugga Conroy. I mean, I could send out Icran Girl, but she's not really... I mean, Acid would be okay. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. He doesn't, he doesn't really got a, a good... I don't know if Gyarados has really learned very many water moves at this point. I'm just going to have Kachuga Conroy do as much damage as... Just, oh, God, Dragon Rage. Okay, well, I can only take one more hit at most, and then I'm going to have to switch. Okay, I got to switch. Um, Yeah, because a Dragon Rage is going to kill me. <sighs> Go. He's not going to have a flying type move. If his best thing is bite, I might be able to send out Eager Raptor and use strength. Or even Seismic Toss. Okay, it's going to take more than that to take down Eager Raptor, so I think Eager Raptor is going to be the best choice against this. Oh my gosh, that's going to hurt though. Eager Raptor can take one. Oh, Jesus. Okay, whew, that takes care of that. Now we got the big guy, and I don't know, who do I even have left that could take care of this? I think JonTron's gonna have to just duke it out. Duke it! Let's send out JonTron, and then we'll heal Seamus. 
Charizard has a lot longer tail in this game. Do 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 do. All right. Hope John Charm can take whatever it's dealing. Okay. Uh, I need to switch soon, but I'd really like to get in a Confuse Ray. So I can make the switch better. I think Wing Attack's the strongest thing. It shouldn't kill me unless it crits. So, I, I'm playing dicey here, I know. But, yeah, okay, there we go. It's, it's, it's gonna have a better payoff, I think. Alright, to Seamus. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, at least I got enough to, to just switch. Scary face is actually not that scary. Ha ha ha. <laughs> ha ha ha. Alright. Slash. Oh god, now I'm susceptible to flamethrower. That's right. Uh, oh dear lord, I gotta switch again. <sighs> that was a good hit, Seamus. But I gotta switch. Let's switch back to... <sighs> Shit. Um, let's switch back to Jontron. To take the fire hit. And then we'll heal John Tron so he can take more hits for us. And then we'll heal somebody else. Okay. Um, so now we heal John Tron. You see, I knew that this is how the battle against Charizard was going to be if we went for it right now. Uh, because, like, we can't outpower it. Okay, let's try confusing it now. So that we get more, we, so that we're stalling for, we can stall for more time to, to, to get everyone else ready. I might even be able to have John. Let's let's go and test the waters with Jontron's quick attack and see how much it does. Uh, I mean, I guess that would work. I mean, I might as well, because I mean, my alternative is healing and switching into somebody else. It's weak enough at this point that I'll go for it. One more quick attack ought to do it. Oh, smoke screen. That could ruin it. Um, I should get a backup plan ready in my mind. Because I need it right now. Um, let's heal Jontron again. I think I'm stuck healing Jontron and doing quick attack. I think that's our plan right now. Because at least Jontron won't get hit with flamethrower. Okay, we won. There we go. Beat him up. We won. Oh, man, so you are ready for Boss Rocket. <laughs> yeah. Whew, that went, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Well, Pizza, I'm moving on up ahead. Not even helping. By Let's checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? <laughs> I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. You a prick. Ugh. I must just oh, threw up. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Pizza, well, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. <laughs> smell ya. And smell your sweat. I'm kind of a weirdo. <laughs> He's a weirdo and a creep. <laughs> a weird creep. A reek. <laughs> a reek. All right. Can I take a nap? My Pokemon hurt. Don't give up. Okay, I won't. I'm, uh, look at me not giving up. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the next thing? I think next we get Lapras. Oh, I gotta pull up my list of who I'm naming shit after. Wait, did I... Wasn't I supposed to take the teleporter in here? Totally ran past it. Alright, I think this guy gives me Lapras. Oh, hi, you're not a rocket. You came to save us? Why, thank you! I want you to have this Pokemon for saving us. Oh. I got a Lapras. And yes, Lapras. we will name the Lapras. Uh, oh, well, the picture's already going to be up, but we are naming this Lapras after the Synthetic Orchestra. The Synthetic Orchestra? Yes. So, Sin... Uh, I don't think I can fit Orchestra now, can I? Sin or or Sin Orc. That's its name, Sin Orc. Can I uh you're out of space. Okay, the synthetic orchestra. So one thing is, while I'm really good about subscribing to every Let's Player I watch, 
Um, I don't always subscribe to every music channel that I watch, which is something I've been trying to remedy. Like, like there's people who make remixes of songs, and I'm like, that's cool, and then I don't subscribe to them. Um, so the first one I ever subscribed to was the Synthetic Orchestra. Okay. And it's a guy who does, um, uh, it's a guy who does, uh, he has a really great collection of uh, synthesized uh, orchestra instruments, and he just makes computer-generated orchestrations of video game songs. Uh, and he does original works, too. Um, I think his most impressive uh, are uh, uh, orchestrations he's done of the Banjo-Kazooie soundtrack and the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. That's how I found him, was through the Chrono Trigger soundtrack. Nice. Uh, but he's done some other really cool ones. He's done some cool Animal Crossing orchestrations, and uh, like I say, he's done a lot of original stuff. If I remember correctly, he did the soundtrack for uh, the Stanley Parable, which was a big indie game a few years ago, mm -hmm. um, like he did the uh, the Stanley Walking music, the pa pa da 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 da. -da. Yeah, oh, if I remember, he composed that song, um, and so uh, yeah, it was the first like just full blown music channel that I subscribed. To. I mean, besides Smooth McGroove, um, but yeah, you know that was one thing I always felt like. Uh, uh, kind of kind of bad about that I was like oh you know I listen to these people's you know works that they do and then I never subscribe to them so I wanted to fix that um so yeah that's the synthetic orchestra hmm. now we've got a Lapras named Sinork 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 also I'm playing the other uh, Pokemon the newer, newer yeah Pokemon you're playing game. Moon right now and there's this Ultra Beast that's really fucking weird. Oh, yeah, it's have that one. Have you seen this one? I have not, because is that this... one is exclusive to Moon. Oh, okay. I don't... I don't even know what to name it. Yeah. It's really fucking weird looking. Oh, hey, I just remember, we're about to fight Boss Rocket again, so that means I gotta pull out my Christopher Walken voice again. Woo! Wasn't that it doesn't feel like that long ago for me that since I fought him because for me it was two days ago. Don't please! Ah! And my bird just eats him. Ah! Ah! No, not the birds! Ah! I saw his eyes. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I like this too. He's like, so you want to see my boss? <laughs> oh, I will, I'll just let you through. I just please don't stick your bird on me. All right. Do you want to see my boss? Okay. It's time for us to fight Giovanni on the next episode. Oh. Oh, Cliffhanger. Bye. Bye.